Hey, I'm still legit bringing you another video through the power of YouTube. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to mod your Borderlands 2 game saves. Alright, let's get started. First, foremost, you have to download Borderlands 2 Save Editor. Link will be in the description, as well as Horizon. Link will be in the description for that. Now you're going to plug in your flash drive with your game save on it. Go to games. Go to Borderlands 2. I have three game saves here. I'll choose this one. Just big man and open that. Double click. Package info. Go to contents. Here's going to be your game save in there. You're going to right click on that. Extract. Extract it. So I'm just going to extract to my desktop. Save. File is extracted successfully. Close that. Now, it's important for you to make a backup on this game save in case you mess up anything. You can have something to go back to. Paste that. I'll try to change the name. Change the name to backup. Enter. Now that's your backup save. Alright, now you're going to open up Borderlands 2 Save Editor. Give the Borderlands 2.save edit. Click double click on that. I already have it open. That's how it's going to look like. Click open. Go to your game save. Very important here. Go to Xbox 360. Or if you're using a PS3 or a PC, just choose that type of game save. It should open here. There we go. <clears throat> now save guide, save slot, don't mess with that. Platform 360, of course. Go to character. Class. You can choose commando, assassin, siren, gunzerk, or necromancer, or psycho. Be aware if you use the Psycho or the Necromancer, if you don't have the DLC, it will, will not work. Experience level. You can change your experience level. I have mine on 72. Even if you put it to 99 in game, it will change it back to level 72. Because that's the highest level that the game has. Sync your experience. That's how much XP I'll have when I'm at level 72. General skill points, specialist. General skill points doesn't work. I'll have a video on that later on. On how to get general skill points. And here, you can just choose the skins, the heads, your characters. All of them are unlocked. You got a vehicle. Not much you can do here except for choose the skins for your vehicle. And then go to currency, your money, iridium, crystals, and tokens. Now 9,999,999. That's what I put. It's an unlimited number. Iridium, you can I put it to 999, but in game it will change it back to 500. That's the max you can have, 500. Change it back to 500. Serve so crystals, tokens, whatever. Tra fast travel. I already have all these unlocked. I don't have none of the DLC, that's why they're not checked, but these are checked. And backpack is my favorite part. You can create weapons, new items. These are the ones you're equipped. You have your weapons, your customizations, and your grenade mods. You can create a new item and there, or a new weapon. So I'm going to create a new weapon here. Then type, I want to choose an assault rifle. Choose bandit assault rifle. Just an example. Choose a legendary madhouse. Manufacturer bandit. Manufacture grade, uh, the body, bandit, 
Manufacturer grade is actually the level of your gun. So level 72, that's my level. Grip, I'll choose the bandit grip. And so on and so forth. I'll just choose bandit for everything for this assault rifle. But you can choose whatever you want. Gamer preference. Stock, bandit. Now elemental. You got slag, shock, none, fire, and corrosive. I'll choose slag. Accessory number one. You got the bullet speed, stability, mag size, accuracy. I like the four grip for stability. Accessory, there's no number two accessory for this gun. Material, legendary. Prefix title, it's whatever. Quick slot, you can have it equipped. So you're in a quick slots up on a D pad, down, left, or right. I'm gonna choose none for now. None for now. You go to your bank. I don't have nothing in my bank right now. You can make a new item. You can put them in your bank, save them there. Future use. And then the raw, one of my favorite tabs. <clears throat> you can do everything that's possibly can possibly be done with your character here with your game save if you don't really know what you're doing don't mess with it but it's really fun to use and experiment with you can edit everything for example have your black market upgrades I have which is your ammo up upgrades I have it at 100 you can put it to 500 but 500 is just extremely too much ammo and 100 is still a lot of ammo so you put it back to 100 so that will be saved and you can go through everything else explored areas inventory skill then uh, max bank slots so you can have as many bank slots as you want Developed by Git for use with Borderlands 2. Special thanks to etc. etc. Now save. I'm going to put it to Big Man. Save that to my desktop. That is save you. Just save it. I'm going to just close it. Your game save, your new game save, will be there wherever you save it at. You're gonna open up Horizon again. You go back to that same package. I you the one that you wanted to mod. See so same one level 72. And you're gonna say right click on that, replace. Go to wherever your game save is at. Click on it. Open. <clears throat> File replace successfully. Now, once it's modded or replace the file you have to save rehash and resign I do it twice just to make sure okay guys now once you're done with that just put it back in your Xbox start up Borderlands 2 and it will work now guys do me a favor go to Big Man Mods YouTube channel like subscribe help me out make sure you comment down below on what videos you guys would like to see in the future take care and thanks for watching